let's consider the bubble in the sun. Let's consider that this bubble is in a slab in the interior of the star. So it is hotter below and colder above. And then the bubble is here, then passing from the hot to the cold. The condition for the bubble to keep rising is that its density is lower than the density of the surrounding medium, like a hot air balloon. So let's give them the subscripts to the quantities. You have the density, the pressure, and the temperature. In the bubble, they are starred quantities. Uh, in the hot gas, they don't have any superscript. And in the cold, they're prime quantities. Let's do the analysis of this bubble to see if it's gonna, when it's going to continue to rise and when it's going to sink down. Under what conditions is this bubble going to keep rising? Under what conditions do we have convection? So let's consider that the bubble expands adiabatically so that the density in the bubble, density star, so go to the density, the pressure, pressure star to the power of one over gamma, where gamma is the adiabatic index. Now the surrounding pressure and the surrounding density are increasing linearly. So let's say that the pressure at the cold, that's pressure prime, is equal to the pressure at the hot, so the PDR delta R. Again, the question that we're trying to answer is under what condition will, will the bubble keep rising? And the density also increases linearly. Now the bubble itself is always in pressure equilibrium. So that you can write that the pressure star is equal to the pressure in the cold region. So you can take the, the adiabatic expansion of the bubble and write it in terms, not of the pressure in the bubble, but the pressure in the outside, which is the same. And then substitute the pressure outside by the linear increase in the pressure. Now, considering that this slab is infinitesimally thin, this second term here is much, much smaller than one. So you can tell your expanded exponent and then the density in the bubble, density star is equal to rho one plus one over gamma pressure, the PDR delta R. Now let's use the equation of state here to write this in terms of the temperature. Recall that the equation of state, pressure is uh, the density times the temperature times the gas constant R. So if you take the derivative, if you write this in differential form, this is DLN rho is equal to DLN P minus DLN T. If you divide this by R, and now expand the logarithms. Now multiply this by the density and have an equation for the rho dr. If you have it, then the equation for the density in the hot zone as a function of the density in the cold zone, you have here d rho dr, the variation in density, which is what you just calculated. So if you substitute this, then you have that the density prime in the hot in the cold region, so dense in the hot region, plus now substitute the rho dr. So you have an expression for rho prime, and you have an expression for rho star, the dense in the bubble. The condition for the bubble to keep rising is that it keeps being lighter than, than the surroundings. It's the condition that we're looking for for the bubble to keep rising is a rho in the bubble, the density in the bubble is less than the density of the surroundings, the density in the cold zone where it's rising into. So we have the condition rho star minus rho prime is equal to rho over gamma pressure, PDR delta R minus rho over P, PDR minus rho over T, TDR delta R. And the condition for convection is that, that this must be less than zero. And this is the condition for convection. From now on, it's just cosmetics.